You've probably seen Blur's new commercial. You know, the one with the broccoli-headed runt that's obviously taken a stab at Mario Kart. Well, they got it right. I don't want happy colors, happy sounds, and happy little engines. And I certainly don't want that cheap freaking blue shell. I want crashes. I want explosions. Blur has its own set of unrealistic power-ups to launch up the opposition's muffler, but it takes racing seriously. It isn't a full-on simulator a la Forza Motorsport 3 or Gran Turismo 5, but don't expect to drift around hairpin turns at 300 miles per hour and bounce safely off the barriers without consequences. Well, not too many consequences at least. There are five offensive power-ups to throw at the competition, including homing shots, direct shots, and mines, which can be launched forwards and backwards, while shields, repair kits, and nitros help keep your car driving safe and fast. The power-ups are surprisingly well-balanced. In other words, no blue shell race killer, which gives Blur a, a surprising amount of tactical depth. You always have to ask yourself whether it's best to keep hammering the leader of the pack or protect your position from the onslaught in the mirror. Progressing through the single player career is unique, but also grossly antagonizing. Here's how it works. You win a race, you get lights, which unlock further races. You get new cars by pleasing the fans with destructive combos, doing fan runs through gates, and fulfilling on-track demands. And then there's the fan target, which requires that you get so many fans to receive a light. I should mention that even on normal difficulty, Blur is hard. So you enter a race, you lose, and you do it again. You lose, and you do it again. Okay, you do that about 10 more times, you get the picture. It's difficult, that's cool. But the problem is none of the completed fan runs through gates, nor the fan targets that you accumulate count unless you come in third or higher. So, if say, you missed a gate, but you came in first, guess what you get to do yet again. Let's pretend for a moment that I just suck terribly, and you can get first every time. Here's the catch-22. How do you gain fans when you're so far ahead that you have no one to battle? It really is quite frustrating, but even so, the rewards are impressive. Hands down, Blur just has one of the coolest car collections outside of a pure simulator. It boasts 69 cars in the garage, including low-level wannabes like a Ford Focus, on up to the new Chevy Camaro SS, sports-tuned Audis, and one van so rad it's called the Super Van. Each car has distinctive driving characteristics, but I question the accuracy of some of the car's ratings. There are sleek cars that have high meters for top speeds, but feel slower than beaters with better acceleration, and cars with high grip ratings that drift all too readily. It's a minor grievance, but compensating with basic options for adjusting drift versus grip, top speed versus acceleration, and turning tightness would have made this complaint null and void. So, once you tire of beating a brick wall in single player, Blur's multiplayer is awesome. Call of Duty's influence knows no bounds apparently, and Blur is the latest adopter of ranked multiplayer. Cars that have been unlocked in single player don't carry over, so you have to earn the right to drive them by building up a new fan base. You can also customize a loadout of three mods, and there's all sorts of fun toys to play with, like a mod that siphons health from wrecked enemies, and another that keeps you invisible until you use a power-up or take damage. The important thing to note is that there is not a single game-breaking ability. Blur has four-player split-screen available, but the 20-player online matches are just too insane to miss. It's an insurance disaster. Crashes around every corner, people blowing up left and right, just pure chaos. Yes, you will be ruthlessly and unavoidably manhandled and thrown from first to last in seconds, but who cares when it's just so much fun? Besides, you can still get plenty of fans and rank up by doing damage from the rear. Okay, that didn't sound right. 
Anyways, on single player, Blur is an average racing game with a powered up twist. Repeating races and receiving beautiful cars that remain untouched due to lack of customization gets old fast. The late 90s rave theme, complete with outdated musicians like the Herbalizer and Crystal Method, isn't doing the presentation any favors either. But as a multiplayer title, Blur is absolutely exhilarating. I cheered in victory, I yelled in anger, I was called names I've never even heard of, and I loved every moment of it. This isn't an online only title though, and I have to consider both sides, so I'm going to even blur out at a healthy 7.5. Once again, I'm Brian Rao, and thank you for watching another Game Zone video review.